Howdy, today we're going to install feedback into the AP positioner. We're going to start off by removing our coupling here and also our gauge. This here will be removed and we will not reuse that. Now we're going to take the pointer off. Remove the coupling. And one thing that can happen is uh, whenever you move your coupling there, sometimes this compression fitting will stay on your shaft. If it does that, whenever you take that off, you want to make sure that inside your coupling, there's a little tab inside there. And there's also four little recesses right here in this clamp. And you want to make sure one of those meet in with that tab. Push this right in there like that. And then you can just barely start that right there and you're going to be ready to put it back together. Okay. So next, we're going to take our coupling here and put it on our feedback. On the coupling itself, it has a C and an A. C is for clockwise. A is for anti-clockwise. What you do is you just take that and slip that in that little groove right there. And right there it works. Okay. Now one thing I want to also mention, if we go uh, clockwise, uh, we're going to, of course, change our crossover block from A to C. Just take this one bolt out right here. And take that up and, and turn it where the C is, right here by the pointer. Secondly, we will take our uh, cam loose. And we just take that cam out of there and flip it over. The cam has got a, a C on there. That would be like for clockwise. Or A is for anti-clockwise. That's the way we're going to set it up today. It's like that. And also, if you're going clockwise, I'll go ahead and get this in there like that. If you go clockwise, then you also need to change these wires here. Put change the wires, the blue and the, the blue and the yellow wire. We're going to switch them. So in other words, the yellow wire will be on this side and the blue wire right here. And then that way it's all ready for clockwise. So once again, we're just doing it all anti-clockwise today. Okay, so anyway, so then we're going to start our screws here on our feedback plate here. And I'm not going to tighten them down all the way because sometimes if you do tighten it down, it puts some tension on this and sometimes it's a little bit harder to, to get our, our adjustment. So we're going to have our actuator all the way closed. And we're going to put our roller right here, right at the bottom of this uh, cam right here. And it's going to be right there in that little divot right there. And so whenever you get your little roller right there, then you're going to tighten down this clamp. And that's going to be good and tight right there. And you want to do it real good tight. We're going to put our cap on there. Now we're going to secure our other three bolts here. And we're going to put our pointer in. Also what comes with the kit are some lugs, ground lugs. This one here will go right there. This one here will go right here. And you just tap those in with a, a hammer lightly tap them in with a hammer, okay? So next, we're going to adjust our feedback. And turn our source box on. 
And what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to, right here is our zero adjustment. And the zero adjustment only goes about 300 degrees. It doesn't go completely 360 degrees. So you got to watch. You don't want to go too far with that. So, and what I do is I put that right in the center of its travel. Okay. And then what, um, with it all the way closed, we want this to read 3.99. So then we take our potentiometer loose. And we turn it until we get right up to 3.99. Or close to it anyway. That way, sometimes it's kind of hard to get on. And then you tighten your screws down, you know, back and forth. That way, you, when you put the potentiometer down, it goes down sort of evenly, not cocked. Because if it goes cocked, then it makes your adjustment get off. Okay, and so then next, then we're gonna go ahead and put her to, I'll put this right at 3.99. Then go all the way open. Then go on the range adjuster, pull it out until we see 19.99 and one. That means wide open. Come back down. 3.87. Bring it on up to 3.99. When you do make an adjustment on one versus the other, it will change. So you have to go back and forth a few times just to verify that everything is exact. Right there. One again. Come back down. See at 397. And right there. Open and close. 3.99. And that's all there is to installing feedback into our AP positioner. Thank you very much.